All right, I'm Crazy Mab, and this is Diva, and we're going to tell you all about our EcoPods. So I'll give you a scenario here. Imagine a young couple that just built their first home, and uh, they got a pool in their backyard, just like anybody else would if they're building a new home. And uh, along with this pool, they're relaxing, and everything's great. And uh, they got floats, all the accessories for the pool. So you may be wondering, so what's the problem? Well, the problem's waiting in their mailbox, and that's their utility bill and their other bills that have to do with the pool. So uh, according to the U.S. Swimming, uh, National Swimming Pool Foundation, there are about 10 million swimming pools in the United States. And uh, pools are luxury items, just like any other luxury item, your car, a watch, even your home by itself. And uh, they're expensive, and they take a lot to maintain and take care of. And that's where our heating pods come in. They're similar to these pods you see here that disperse the chemicals. A lot of people know what those are and seen them in pools, except it is uh, made up of aluminum, which is a very good conductor of heat. And uh, this pod is filled with the chemicals that creates the heat in the thermal target. And uh, the thermal emitting cell may be manufactured from a combination of iron powder, carbon, salt, and vermiculite. And so the pool trends and drivers, and the reason we're in this industry, in 2018, the revenue for pools was $9 billion, and the growth from 2013 to 2018 was 3.8%. A lot of this comes from uh, the housing market crash in 2009 and the resurgence of people building and buying homes and building pools as well. And there are about 14,000 businesses in the United States that are dealing with pools. So Diva's going to tell you about our opportunity size here. So for opportunity size, our primary targets are current pool owners and future pool owners. And according to the Census Bureau, um, about 8 million pool owners currently exist. And these numbers only are talking about the, indoor, the outdoor in-ground pools. And um, we think they'll be interested in our product because the design for safety trend and eco-friendliness is going up. And um, these people always need new and improved updates to their pool when we're modeling it all. And then our second trend is also the growing and aging population. Like Noah said, there's going to be more houses being built for the newer generations and all. And um, so there'll be an increase in households that meet criteria for pool purchase or installation. And then the um, Aqua Magazine has reported that this market size is about 25 million homes just in the U.S. alone. And so for our current alternatives, uh, we called a pool contractor in town um, and talked to Tina Hughes, who's the vice president of Fire Masters Inc. And she told us that these were the current alternatives to our product. For the first one, it's isopropyl, which is a liquid cover that you pour onto your pool, creating a thin layer of chemicals that prevents heat loss. Um, it doesn't really heat up your pool. It, it just leaves your, cool, your pool at its current temperature. So, um, it's cheap, but it's also not efficient because the chemicals evaporate from the pool quickly and you have to replace it constantly. And then our second current alternative is solar blankets, which is a solid cover that you lay out onto your pool hours before you use your pool. And um, it soaks up the heat from the sun uh, to heat your pool up to about 10 degrees. And it's also limited because you can only use it when there is the sunlight out, so you can't really use it on cloudy days or indoor pools or anything like that. Um, for the last alternative, it's gas and electric heaters, and about 50 to 60% of pool owners um, use this because it's very efficient at heating your pool, but at a very high cost. Um, if we're just talking about installing uh, the heater, it's about $2,000 to $5,000, depending on which one you pick. And then that doesn't include the frequent maintenance checkups um, fees or even um, the maintenance fees after the checkup, and then also these lifespan of the heaters only last up to five years, and then you have to think about replacing them again, so that's another $2,000 to $5,000. So it's really expensive um, compared to our heating pods that are at a low cost, um, and it's also efficient, and it requires little to no maintenance, and also, like, you can also use these heating pods in any other pool, and the electric or gas heaters are only used in the outdoor pool. So we guarantee our EcoPods are durable, inexpensive, and efficient. Unlike our current competitors, EcoPods are environmentally friendly, easy to use, and saves you money. And no one will close that for us. So instead of worrying about how you're going to pay for your bills, you shouldn't have to worry about that at all. You should grab a drink, put your float in your warm pool, and enjoy your luxury item. 
thanks.